everybody! Welcome to the first episode of LMS Virtual Library. My name is Mrs. Minton and I'm the school librarian at Leicester Middle School in Leicester, Massachusetts. And I decided to create this daily vlog as a way to stay connected to the students and staff at my school um, while we are practicing our social distancing during this outbreak of the coronavirus. And I'm so glad that you're joining me today and I miss your beautiful faces. Um, I decided to uh, share a couple of things with you, some of the stuff that I normally do in the library um, since I can't do it in person, and that's why we're going virtual. Uh, some of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you through our daily vlog are online tutorials, how to access resources that you can find for free online. I'm looking forward to getting any questions or recommendations on things as well. Um, if you need any help with me, please reach out through email. I also plan on sharing what I'm reading what I'm listening to, and then having daily little breaks for some fun stuff. Uh, for instance, every day I plan on doing an origami with you from this origami calendar. And I'm very excited because I got a overhead camera so I can draw and animate and do really fun stuff with you as well. I also plan on showing you some of the cool stuff that we have in the makerspace. A lot of times we don't have time to check it out, so I'm planning on showing you what we have and how you can use it um, when you when we come back to school. Uh, in addition to that, I will be sharing some of the stuff that I'm doing around my house. And I hope to hear some of the stuff that you're doing around your house too. Over the past few days, I've been doing something pretty cool. I have been listening to children's author Mo Willems and doodling with him at lunchtime. He's been putting these out every day and it is fantastic. And if you don't know who Mo Willems is, he created the Elephant and Piggy books and the Pigeon books and Nuffle Bunny. He actually lives in Massachusetts too. The first day that we drew with Mo, myself and my two children, Sawyer and Wendy, he gave us the prompt to draw something with a lot of legs. Okay, so this is my son Sawyer's drawing. Its name is Nail, and these are all his many legs. Okay. And my daughter, you could tell, was inspired by her brother. And this is Harley and you can see all of the legs that Harley has. And then my doodles are on the top, these little characters here that have a lot of legs. After he gave us that prompt, he showed us how to draw a pigeon. And it's actually quite easy. He broke it down step by step. So this is something that you can learn to do too. And I hope you'll give it a try. Now, my children's pigeons are much cooler than mine. This is Unicorn Pigeon, okay, this is rock and roll pigeon and then yesterday Mo taught us how to draw Gerald and this is Wendy's Gerald so beyond doing daily doodles with Mo I have been working on rearranging my studio uh, just a place where I do stuff and let me tell you it's a disaster I'm gonna cut away please don't judge me too hard here it is I told you, disaster. So here's the thing. I moved back to this, ha this house, it's my childhood home, and all my sibling stuff was still here and my parents' stuff was still here, and now it's my job to go through everything and figure out how I'm gonna store it, where I'm, what I'm going to keep or recycle or donate, and that is the process that I am in right now. And I have never had time to do it, but now I have time. And I'm making the most of this opportunity, and I hope you are making the most of your time as well. And I plan on going through everything and organizing it and painting the room and hanging up, hanging up cool stuff. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can help me make some of the decisions like paint color and what to put where and so forth. So I hope that you do that with me. So now I'm going to share a tutorial with you. If you did not know, you are eligible to get a Boston Public Library e-card just for li living in the state of Massachusetts. You don't have to live in Boston. The only catch is you do have to be 13 years old. So for my fifth and sixth grade friends, you can follow along, maybe have your parent follow along and your parent can sign up for your e-card, but seventh and eighth graders, you can create one for yourself. This is the tutorial to show you how to sign up for a Boston Public Library e-card. And the first thing you're going to do is to go ahead and type in bpl.org in the search bar. Next, you're going to click on services. And then you're going to go to library card registration. You're going to click on e-card registration. 
and then you're going to go to the right and click on register or renew an e-card. It's going to walk you through the process here and you're going to click on proceed. Next, you're going to confirm that you are in fact a resident of Massachusetts and you're going to click on proceed. At this point, you are going to fill in your personal info. So fill it in, have somebody at home help you fill that in. And then when you're all done, you're going to click on proceed. Next, it will ask you to fill in your birthday, your email address, and then confirm your email address and choose your PIN number. Then click proceed. I have zoomed in the screen here so you can't see my personal information, but at this point you just want to make sure that the information you have recorded is accurate, your email address, your home address, and if it all looks good, you are going to scroll down to the bottom and click on I agree. Okay, so now you have finished registering for your e-card. Now head on over to your email that you registered with and you'll see an email from the Boston Public Library with your library card number. At this point, you can go back to the Boston Public Library website and you can start borrowing things with your e-card. So if you click on books and more, you will be able to see the different types of resources that you can get here. And in future tutorials, I will show you how to log in to those various apps that will give you the movies and TV episodes and the music. And so we will be able to do that together in just a little while. Thank you for joining me for that tutorial. Um, you can access that here on YouTube under the LMS account again, or you can access the tutorial on the library website, or um, I plan on putting the link to this uh, video on my various social media accounts as well. But today we are going to be wrapping up the episode with an excerpt from The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. And I had the great pleasure of reading this to my son right before bedtime. And when you're a parent, you can do fun stuff like that too. Freaked him out a little bit. So here goes. You fancy me mad. Madmen know nothing. But you should have seen me. You should have seen how wisely I proceeded. With what caution. With what foresight. Every night, about midnight, I turned the latch of his door and opened it. Oh, so gently. And then, when I had an opening sufficient for my head, I put in a dark lantern all closed so that no light shone out and then I thrust in my head how cunningly I thrust it in I moved it slowly very very slowly so that I might not disturb the old man's sleep ha would a madman have been so wise as this and then I undid it just so much that a single thin ray fell upon the vulture eye this I did for seven long nights every night just at midnight but it found the eye always closed, and so it was impossible to do the work, for it was not the old man who vexed me, but his evil eye. Thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you tomorrow.